this old lampshade that came with this old lamp that my grandmother gave us and it's fallen apart and we have a pretty colorful room going on here so we've decided that we're going to take this fabric and turn our lampshade into a really funky 70s inspired lampshade. We're going to start by ripping this stuff off. It may take you a while so you might want to unhook it. So now we have all the fabric off and there's still some string and some glue and a little bit of fabric that we couldn't get off. I'm just going to take what girls know as a nail buffer or you can also get a um, piece of sandpaper that is softer, not, not as strong and just kind of dust back and forth in grain with the fabric and the glue to kind of get it off. You want a nice dirty stencil, so I'm going to actually just cut a brown paper bag into a flat surface. Every lampshade has a line in it, that's how they've put it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that as our spot to mark. And I mark where that is, come over here, and mark where that is, where the other side is and slowly trace until my line is upward, facing up exactly. Looks like we're right across from each other, right there. Now I'm going to cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to have a little, you're, you're going to want to cut extra of the fabric to glue underneath so you don't have to do any sewing. So I'm not a fan of sewing everything. Let's double check our shape. Now, simply just retrace your pattern and cut that piece up. Um, I put them in place so I waste as the least amount of fabric. This is actually to try and use this for a lot of things in this room. So we're gonna use every ounce of it. And I just wanna secure them in place right now. And I'm just gonna cut. Now keep in mind that you wanna keep probably about a half inch to an inch extra on the outside so that you can fold and glue inward. So now we put the boy to work and we make him do the ironing. So now you wanna flip up your fabric so that the, the side of it that you want showing is going to be facing downward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squirt it on the inside. Careful, you will burn yourself with the hot glue if you don't give it a minute or have thick enough fabric. Now you're just going through and doing the same idea on the bottom. Now we're just going to clean it up. I want to make, make it have a nice clean fold. I'm going to fold it under, just a little dab of glue because it is going to show through when it, whatever it's not facing the wall, so you don't want a whole lot of glue on there. All right, now we're going to clean it up because it's not the most clean. So we're just going to go around with a razor blade and lightly pull away at the fabric. 